What is A2P10DLC? We have an awesome SaaS Pro Facebook group. We also have guides in here. We give away lots of free stuff. So be sure to jump in our Facebook group, facebookgroup.com forward slash groups forward slash SaaS Pro. And we'll see you inside the group. See If you Google it or search it, this is the future. This is what is happening right now. And it is all carrier based. Twilio, who happens to be a application to person messaging software and happens to be the largest software on the market. A lot of the SMS texting providers, they're all using Twilio on the back end, just like what Lead Connector is. If you Google A2P 10 DLC, every person that does SMS marketing is required by the carriers to do this. We have just made it a little bit easier because we know it's complicated. I'm going to show you all the details. So let's get started. So what is A2P 10 DLC means? Application to purchase type messaging via standard a 10 digit long code 10 DLC phone numbers. The A2P is application to person. The 10 is the 10 digit long code, meaning the phone number. So that's your local number. What does that mean? Application to person. When you're texting on your regular phone, let's say you're texting your mom or your dad or your brother or husband and wife, that's what we call P2P, person to person application. So the carriers have it where you can text to and from your personal text number. But when you're dealing with marketing, that's when it comes to application, meaning you're using an application that allows you to send bulk messages all at once, allows you to have a dedicated text line. That's the application. So Twilio is considered an application, just like Lead Connector is considered a application. You're able to utilize the application to send to the person. So you're using an application versus your personal phone number. Person to person is when you send those, you don't have any application or software. You're just using your phone carrier. With application to person, you're actually using an application like a Twilio or Lead Connector to send those numbers. And that's what A2P10 DLC stands for. Now, what we're doing is and what's happening in the United States is that the carriers, AT&T's, T-Mobile, all the carriers are wanting to require that your business be registered. So that cuts down on the spam texting, you know, the warranty expiration dates, the random texts that you get and you're replying stop to so they stop bothering you. So the carriers have gotten a lot of complaints based on that that have made us have to register the phone numbers. Of course, the carriers also want a cap on the marketing, so they're going to charge some minor fees. One is going to be a brand fee to register your brand with the carrier, and one is going to be a campaign fee. Let's go ahead and get into the A2P 10 DLC requirements. Mainly, these are coming through from AT&T, T-Mobile, and I'm going to put a link below this video so you can see what is happening exactly with this registration. What do you need to do? Well, the first thing you have to do is register your business. So you're either going to be a limited liability, an LLC, or a solepreneur. So you're going to have basic information to register your business. That's going to be very important, and it is required. We've made this very easy to do. Trust score is zero to 100. Based on how high your trust score is, is if the carrier is going to accept your message. We want to focus on getting that high trust score. Sole proprietorship. This just was announced on April 17th of this year, 2023. That brand registration is also live as well. Now I'm going to show you how to register inside your software and how easy it is to use the lead connector phone system. First thing that you're going to want to do is go into settings. And when you go into your settings section, you're going to go into the phone numbers and inside the phone numbers, you're going to see the trust center. This is for local area code text numbers. So you're using this phone number for your text line or your voice. You must do this. Otherwise, you will not be able to send text messages or voice messages or anything related to the phone number. It's coming July 5th. So we want to make sure that for the rest of the month of May and June that you do register your number with the carrier. So I'm going to go into Trust Center here. 
when I click on Trust Center, you need to make sure that your business profile is all set up and approved. You want to see this approved. And then once this is approved, you can add the shake it and stir, but this is what needs to be approved. So you can see right here, now this is not registered. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start register. And when I do, it's going to say it is a one-time sole proprietor brand registration. So depending on what you put inside of your business profile, you want to go to my profile and you want to make sure that you have all of your business information correct under business profile. I'm going to make sure that your physical address, your business name, your legal name, all of this must be set up. Any information, if you're LLC, make sure you have your EIN number and you'll see that in the drop down. You can select whatever you are and then put in your EIN number. You want to make sure that everything is in here that you have an authorized representative within your company to reach out to directly with their direct number. So again, that is in the business profile. So once you get that set up, we'll go into settings and we'll go into phone numbers. Now we're going to go back into Trust Center. So once you get that approved, it's great. Go ahead and fill everything out, submit it for review. Even if it says pending, that's okay. This has already been enabled, so I can't show you on this account. But if we were to click on this, basically this is trust enabling your phone number as well. It's basically just putting your phone number and your business name attached to your number saying that this is you. What we want to do right here is this. Be sure that you have enough credits in order to do this. Otherwise, you can go into billing and load up those credits. So right here, you're going to see that this is a fee. It could be $4. It could be $6. It all depends on how you registered your business. What you want to do then is then hit next. And you're going to see we've got a one-time brand registration fee. Again, this is all required by the carrier. So you can see that there are limits up to 3,000 segments per day, up to 6,000 segments per day. So you want to select which one is going to be you. Most of you are not doing 6,000 segments a day. We're limited in a sense of this, how many we can do for the brand registration. So this means we're going to have to do drip campaigns and things like that if you are on a lower volume plan. If you're on an LLC, you'll see that it, it changes. But I'm going to go ahead and click on this to get up to 6,000. And then when you see, you'll see I am allowed to do 6,000 segments per day. Now, that is a lot of texting. And most of you guys are not going to be doing 6,000 texts a day. But you are required to register. So let me give you an example. If you have 6,000 customers and you sent all 6,000 of those customers 160 character text then you would reach that minimum. And it also does additional campaign fee up to $12 a month, replies basically depending on the TCR rolls. Bottom line is up to $5 to get your brand registered. And then anytime you do a campaign that's going to be this high, just know after you pay the one time, you may get a $12 a month if you're doing it consistently. So under $20, you will be done, you will be compliant, and you will be ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next on this. Now, what they want in the A2P 10 DLC is what are your campaigns? What are you going to be sending your customers? So you want to be very clear on this. Let's just do low volume mix to be begin getting started because the key thing here is that you want to get approved. So in my particular case, we don't market and send out marketing. We send out announcements. We send out appointment reminders. We send out invoice reminders, payment not paid. So I'm just going to hit low volume recommended. And this is what I recommend recommend you do. And it says campaign use case description. The campaign sends one time passes codes to the end user when they try to log in. Okay, great. So well, what is our use cases? We're going to say, we're going to say announcements and I'm going to say updates. And that's good because we're not really marketing. We're not like selling anything. We're not doing any cra anything crazy. So I'm just going to do appointment reminders, announcements, updates. I think that's about it. I'm just going to hit next. And then it's going to say, what is an example of your message? They want to know what you're sending out. So they're talking about passcodes right here. Passcodes meaning if they forgot their login and password, that would be something I would do for you guys. But what you want to put in here is what's your sample message number one? Sample message number one is your appointment is confirmed for date and time. Let me just do this for Monday at 10 I'm going to be very clear on this. Then my second message will be something like new software feature. 
click the link to view more information. Real simple. In your business, it could be a new product update, a new something update. This message will include embedded link. Yes, this one will. The message will include phone numbers. No, mine won't. But if yours will, go ahead and check. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. How will the end user, how do they opt in? End users opt in by website contact us form, sign up forms, and web chat widget. It's the best thing to do. Opt in keywords, examples, like if they go to your phone number and type in your business name, do they opt in? And then the opt in messages, you are now opt in. Ours will say you are now opt in. Please type stop to unsubscribe at any time. That's what we put. And that's pretty much it. Let me just make sure I did this separated by commas. Okay, that's what I did. All right, perfect. So it's separated by a comma. There we go. Now I'm going to submit it. It says missing business registration, missing authorized representative. So you can see right here, I'm missing information. So that means I got to go back and fill in my missing profile data. So what am I going to do? I'll go ahead and let me go fix this to see. And I'm not showing you this because I don't want you to see the personal information. So it says missing business registration number. I just updated that. So let's hit submit. All right. So all I did was go into my company information and update my information. That's all I did. ATP brand submitted may take up to seven days. All right, close. And we sit here and we wait for this to show up. So this is why you want to go in and do this as soon as possible. When it is approved, you already automatically get charged the $5 for registration. Once it is approved, it will charge and show up in your credits showing the other 14, 15, 16 or $21. It'll show up in your credits. So be sure to check that out. And make sure that you have your credits loaded to at least add that additional $10 or $20. And you would find that under your business profile and billing. So again, that's how easy it is to register, but you must do that. You need to make sure that this is all approved and this is all approved. It's so very important that you do this. I cannot stress to you enough because if you're messaging me later on and you say, hey, my text isn't, doesn't work. That's why. So we want to make sure that everyone is registered and that you know how to do this and that you do get set up. A2P sole proprietor registration is set up. You can do that as well. So if you're sole proprietor, be sure you put in that information. All we care about is the approved and everything being approved. That's it for setting up your A2P 10 DLC. And I would recommend doing that right now. I believe it's August is if you get a 30004 error and it's not going through, it's because you have not registered. It's beginning July 5th. And if you don't have this registration complete, your text messages won't go through. And that has nothing to do with us. This is all with you being registered with each carrier and making sure that you're A2P 10 DLC compliant. All you got to do is just a few simple steps to get yourself registered. And we can keep texting and keep communicating with our customers and our contacts on a daily basis. So make sure you get that done. We don't want to spam our customers either. So let's go ahead and do this. We're helping everybody out. We get what the carriers are doing, but we can't blame them because users like me and you don't want to be spammed. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you